Okay, so this should be part four of this mess. I still get, like, from side to side, still a voltage difference. What I did is I lifted up these fuses, and uh, here are the fuses, and here's the rectifier chip. If I lift up this fuse, or both of them, there's going to be, like, no connection especially on the negative side, along with, I, I, I took up W20. So I can't get, if the fuse was down, right? Like say this fuse was down. If I, if I did this and this, I could get like a, like a diode reading, right? Cause it would, uh, if I probed here and probed here, It'd be the same thing as probing here to here, and I could get a diode reading or an ohmmeter. Just it'd read some resistance one way and no resistance the other way. But if I lift it up, um, so if I was probing, you know, ground in here, I won't. I, if it, if there's a short, I'll see something. If there's no short, I won't see anything. But if I put down the fuse, I will, because now what I'm doing effectively is there is a pathway by making the connection with the fuse. Let me just demonstrate that. It's kind of tricky to... So the fuses are up, and I have my uh, multimeter. And if I short it, it goes to zero. So... I'll put the negative probe here and I'll start probing this leg and I got nothing. If I, I think if I put down, is it this fuse? If I make a contact there. Let's see. See that? I get uh, an ohm reading, like 445k of resistance. But if I swap the leads, I get nothing. And in this case, by connecting this fuse, I'm leading to a pathway to from this junction to that junction. So let's just do that. And I'll just show what I mean. Okay. So that's really C444. That's just if I take this probe and go over here. 444. So it's the same. It's doing so with the fuses out, my point is I can't find a, a short on that leg. I have, I haven't lifted up W21 link. So if I probe this leg, the positive side to ground, it's going to go to the rest of the circuit and I should see something, you know, there's some diodes in the path or if I swap it, maybe get a different reading. Yeah. But that's because I haven't secluded the positive side to the rest of the board by lift, haven't lifted W21. W20 is lifted. If I probe this negative thing and probe W20, I get continuity. Right, it goes to zero. But if I touch the chassis, anything else, there's no continuity. So we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna uh, put in W20 back in. And uh, I'll continue uh, the next step. I'll just uh, put, and then I'll put the, the caps back in. I'll show you that how that goes. So let me uh, try to feed that wire back in. And I, 
ideally we like to test it with the two caps in, but I think once the caps in, it'll be kind of hard for me to manipulate into that area. So I can't find a short. Maybe it's just something I'm not understanding. I don't know. So let's just get this link W21, W20 I should say, back in its hole. And uh, then we'll be able to see the rest of the circuit. Of course, it never wants to go back in. If I do a combination of pressing with the finger or maybe a, a more broader chopstick. There we go. Let's just straighten that out a bit for neatness sake. Let's solder that back in. See how the performance changes. With just the uh, ohm, ohm meter, multimeter. Let's just get this board back up. So it's going to be right about here. I can see it right there. I have something else desoldered too. Huh. Okay, let's uh, put that link back in.